back to my channel so this is day 18 of my 31 days of Halloween I did miss Violet Beauregard but I had a lot of fun filming this look and doing this look it was super easy so fun if you guys want to see how I got this look then keep on watching I'm actually gonna do both eyes go into my mini controversy palette and I'm gonna take expose and put that in my crease And then I'm gonna go into like this little Revlon eyeshadow that I have and I'm going to put that all over my lid and my crease. The James X Morphe palette per usual. And I'm going to mix the darkest purple in that palette and the blue. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and put the same dark mixture and really smoke it out underneath of my eye. And I'm gonna go in with my smudger brush, a little bit of a really dark brown slash black and push that on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take this purple in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and put that on my lid. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start sketching out the drips of purple on her face in white body paint, body slash face paint. So down the first half of her face, just creating a line and then at the brow, there's a nice little drip and then down from that is two more. Now I'm going to start making the drip down her cheek. So now what I'm going to do is on my little palette I'm going to mix together a really light purple color with some blue the slightest bit of red and some white. So now I'm going to go in with a dark purple and blue eyeshadow mix and just feather that through my eyebrow. Revlon purple eyeshadow and I'm just going to set everything on this side of my face. I'm just going to blend the dark shadows on top of this. I'm going to do my liner and my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edges of this shadow or of this purple and I'm going to add a lighter version of this dark purple slash blue combination 
but we're just gonna make that as a shadow. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and add some highlights. So I'm going to take a ton of my white and mix it with this leftover purple that I have. And I'm just gonna sponge it on some areas here. So now I'm gonna go in with just some white and apply some highlights on these. Put on just a like peachy toned lipstick. I'm just going to use this lip liner from Mary Kay in Light Nude. take Blankety by MAC, put my hair in a fake bob, and then I'll spray paint this side of my hair purple and I'll be right back. Okay, and this is a completed look. The spray was a little bit more pink um, than I would like. I tried to find a spray that was purple enough slash blue enough and I couldn't find one. So. Um, but yeah, this is a completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming this one. It was super easy, super quick. Like maybe took me an hour and a half maybe while some of my other ones take two to three hours so yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you want to get a notification when i post in october since i am posting every single day make sure you hit that bell icon so that you can get a notification when the new video goes live for today's question who was your favorite um willy wonka character leave a comment down below who your favorite character was from the willy wonka in the chocolate factory or charlie in the chocolate factory either one um and i will see you guys in the next one